I know you are in touch with a lot of politicians, right? And of course, one of them is Donald Trump. You endorsed him. You were actually at his victory party when right. he won the presidency. He's sort of gotten involved in the NFL protests and, and kind of gotten involved in the NFL business. And I'm curious if you're surprised that he would insert himself into football. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, listen, the whole football thing is crazy right now. You know, I, I wouldn't want to be the commissioner of football for anything. You couldn't pay me to be the commissioner of football. Um, you, you know, if you look at that business, uh, the NFL, you know, they, they make a lot of money. They make a lot of money. So um, if, if you look at his salary, in my opinion, it isn't worth what that guy's got to go through on a, on, a, on a daily basis. He can have it. You and I have talked about this before, that you don't play the national anthem before your bouts. But right. I'm curious, if the president came to you and said, we want to get more patriotic. We want anthems played at all sporting events, and that includes the UFC. What would you say? Well, I guess if the president came and asked me to do the national anthem, I'd do the national anthem. Yeah. No hesitancy. No. About that. No. Listen, I I, I have no problem with the national anthem. Uh, you know, uh, it, it just all sports do it. All sports do it. I mean, in in in, in boxing, they play the national anthem of everybody involved in the fight. It takes. 25, 30 minutes for the fight to start. It's just like, it's just something we never did. We've done it twice. You know, we did the national anthem at 9-11, and then we did America the Beautiful last Saturday for Vegas. 